Hello everyone, this is Luke Martz and we are going to talk about uh, ball connections in this video. I have a series of this video uh, done, uh, starting from uh, the design of, uh, of the frame with a uh, frame generator, uh, then jump into the analysis, then going to talk about uh, the weldments, and this is the video where we are going to talk about ball connections. So, as we did on the past videos, uh, we used the, the reuse tool from the frame generator for get this done. Uh, something that is going to be uh, really, really, really key for have this uh, done properly and very fast. The first thing here is that uh, there are different ways how to start uh, a ball connection. It can be a reference to just faces. For example, Jake picked this face and then I say, okay, let's pick this reference from here and this other one from here. This is going to be a single hole. Uh, the other option is concentric. If I have concentric references, I can pick them. Uh, on point if I have a sketch and by hole if I have already holes on my model that I can uh, refer to. Okay, so in this case I'm going to use the sketch technique. Um, if we check the way how I did the, the skeleton Um, it makes more sense to place the the points where are going to be uh, my bolts uh, on this element instead of this one because if I change the skeleton uh, the bolts are going to be uh, changing as well but if I place the skeleton here probably I'm going to need to do some more uh, another uh, extra deeds for have some intelligence on it so the, for me the first uh, option is to do it in this element okay so by having this uh, sketch on the element I did the sketch on both sides of the element uh, we just go to the top of design uh, use the ball connection tool and we start by selecting a first phase that is going to be our uh, the phase where our uh, bolt head is going to be placed and we select one of these options and then we can select uh, the points that are going to be used in this case uh, well and then of course uh, select termination in this case I select the wrong one okay there we go yeah we have there you can see that I have uh, a preview of two different holes and on my six points here but as well as in these other points so uh, auto inventor is going to to identify all, all the points that are going to be on that sketch so just be careful if you don't want to have those Probably you're going to need to go and deselect the ones that you don't want. But for this example, uh, it is totally fine. Uh, we can. I'm going to deselect these ones. There are ways to just have an, a separate sketch for them. But for this tutorial, it's, it's good. Okay, so then uh, we select the diameter and we place components. Uh, that's something really easy. Uh, but I want to show you uh, that actually I have a series of ball connections predefined with uh, the corresponding uh, knot, washers, and all that. So I did this ball connection. For one inch bolt, uh, I'm going to select it and, and pick uh, set, and they are going to, to be set uh, 
uh, automatically. I'm going to change a little bit the uh, length to three and a half inches. And well, for add components and all that is as simple as just here uh, click to add fastener. Check that. Uh, it depends on the on the side where you select. I have the option also here. Click to add a fastener. So it means that it is going to be on, 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 for example, these first ones are going to be on the side of the first selection of the start point, uh, start plane, and the other ones are going to be on the side of the termination. So it is as simple as just pick here, and then you can select from the content center the components that that you need. For example, uh, I'm going to change this guy. I'm going to select it here regular, for example. Okay. So we have a calculation tab here that is really helpful. Um, if you go to the video where, where we did the frame analysis, uh, you can extract from the from there uh, the information that is going to be uh, required for complete this. Um, all these forces and well you can select materials and all that and and, and click calculate and then have uh, a, a good to go or not good to go <laughs> uh, for the design that you are you are selecting okay I'm going to hit OK Inventory is going to create the holes and place all the components. And the great thing here is that they are going to be on the. Oh, there I have an error. They are going to be on the bill of materials. So a, a precise. Uh, check that I can change the order of them just by selecting and and drag them. So here I change the order, the natural order something very obvious and and well uh, I'm going to, to play this other one here but look that uh, since they are we are using the the reusing tool I have this element right here it's the same so I'm going to to place on this other side okay so I'm going to use exactly the same setup so I just need to select uh, the planes, uh, the points, termination, in this case it's going to be this one. Um, hold on, I think termination is not good. Oh yeah, no, it's, it is okay. Okay, look that uh, this beam is the same as the other one, as this one. So it already has the, the holes and it is not necessary to, to create a hole. So inventory identifies that and says, okay, well, we are, we're okay for, for, for this phase. We have the, the holes that we require. So just here to keep in mind that uh, I don't want to place extra uh, bolts that are, that are going to, to give me uh, a bad uh, counting of bolts that are required on the bill of materials so just deselect them as we already talked <laughs> and then uh, click set for half the, the correct bolt um, the standard that I already saved this is a very 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 time saving and there we go hit apply There we have it. Okay, so what happens with this other side is that uh, it already uh, needs the, the, the obviously the bolts, but some holes. So let's repeat again. But in this case, for example, I would like to select uh, by hole. So I have the chance to click the follow pattern option. I need to select the termination, in this case it's going to be here. It is important to check that we are not <laughs> uh, having, uh, we're not going to have problems there. Uh, I'm going to 
use the same uh, predefined uh, bolts, change a little bit the size, the length. I'm going to hit apply. There we go. And probably this other guy is going to have all the holes, but it is just going to be waiting for uh, the bolts themselves. So we can do the same. So do it by hole, select termination, and check that inventor identifies that that we already have the holes. So it is using the existing holes and just hit the set for half the the correct uh, standards and don't forget to click the follow pattern in order to have um, all the other holes completed hit ok and there we go this is really uh, easy and really cool and you are going uh, going to need to, to do the same process but in this case uh, the holes are going to be there so you can place the, the ball connections themselves by just uh, using the ball connection or you can also that which is another option but I don't I don't really recommend it uh, for different reasons is that for inventor these ball connections are uh, an assembly so you can copy and paste them and uh, place them by reference in the, the axis, for example, with two axes of this one and placing this mate face here, you have, you have it. But I don't really like to do it in that way, I used to to place all them with ball connection. All right, so that's part of the tutorial. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, moving with this model, uh, doing more details, showing you how to do them, and finally uh, we are going to to end uh, doing some uh, FEA, uh, not exactly frame analysis, which is a, a light version faster and perfect for the first stages of the of the design for tech decisions and getting faster our design and well at the end uh, I hope to get to to the stress analysis uh, having meshes and all that and, and doing uh, analysis of uh, different elements so uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you like uh, this video please subscribe don't forget to check the other videos that i already have um, i'm going to leave uh, here at the end of this video the links for the other tutorials have a nice one bye